Hello friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, we are going to discuss about interconversion of D-glucose to D-arabinose by Ruff's degradation. Right. So what is the main aim of this Ruff's degradation? So interconversion of D-glucose to D-arabinose. So here the aldohexose is nothing but the D-glucose and aldopentose is nothing but the D-arabinose. Right. So if you see in my previous video of interconversion of aldopentose to aldohexose by Kiliani Fischer synthesis, here aldopentose is nothing but the 5 carbon compound. Right. So in the name itself it indicates that it is a 5 carbon compound. And here aldo exists nothing but the 6 carbon compound. Here the name itself indicates aldo means at the first carbon the aldehyde group will be present. And here also at the first carbon the aldehyde group will be present. So this is a 6 carbon compound and this will be a 5 carbon compound. So if you see the structure you can properly understand. So this will be the structure. Right. So this is the aldo exos, Right. So this is called as aldo exos. And you are going to convert this aldo exos into aldo pentose. I mean you are going to convert the D-glucose to D-arabinose. So how we are going to convert it? So now let us see. So this is a glucose, structure of the glucose, right? Which is a 6 carbon compound. Remember, 6 carbon compound. So count here, first carbon, second carbon, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Totally 6 carbons are present and the first carbon aldehyde group is present, right? CHO is nothing but the aldehyde group. Hence it is called as aldohexes. And now it is treated with, I mean you are going to undergo the process of oxidation by using bromine and here the Br2 will act as a catalyst in such a way that it mainly helps in speed up in the reaction right so Br2 is used as catalyst and now the oxidation will be occur at first carbon so here the CHO aldehyde group will get converted to COOH group by the process of this oxidation right and the remaining uh, you know all of these projections will be same and now this is called as gluconic acid so how you, how you can consider this structure as a gluconic acid because the OH group is present at the first carbon right Hence, it is considered as gluconic acid. Acid group is present over there. And now, this gluconic acid is treated with lime. So, uh, what is the lime we are going to take here? CaOH2, which is a base, right? Lime is nothing but the base. Here, once the acid will get reacted with base, then it forms salt, right? Don't forget. what Here, the acid will get reacted with base. So, what is the acid? Gluconic acid. And what is the base which I have took? CaOH2, right? And the, once the acid will get reacted with base, then it forms salt. So what is the salt which has been formed here? Calcium gluconate, right? Calcium gluconate is the salt which has been formed. So here this hydrogen will be removed. The hydrogen which is present in the first carbon will be removed and COO, I mean ion is present over here. Hence, you are going to consider this as calcium gluconate, right? And the Ca2 will be protruded out, right? The Ca plus 2, the calcium ion will get protruded out. So now this is your calcium gluconate. This is the salt which will be formed from the acid once it gets reacted with the base. And now this calcium gluconate is treated with hydrogen peroxide. It is treated with hydrogen peroxide. Now, it is treated with hydrogen peroxide and we are also going to use here Fe plus 2. Why are you going to use this peroxide? Because it mainly helps in the speed up in the reaction. I mean, it is mainly used uh, to speed up the reaction where it is used as catalyst, right? So now the, here the COOH group is present over here, right? And once it undergoes heating, then what will happen? The, the COO will get protruded out in the form of carbon dioxide and once it is treated with hydrogen peroxide then the keto group formation occurs right keto group formation occurs the C double bond is nothing but a keto group hence it is called as alpha keto acid so what is the structure it is called as alpha keto acid right so once the calcium gluconate will get treated with hydrogen peroxide which is called as H2O2 then it forms alpha keto acid where the keto group will be present at the second carbon right and now the COO which is called a CO2 will get protruded out once it undergo the process of heating and now what will happen then it forms 5 carbon compound right so once this carbon has been removed out in the form of carbon dioxide then only remaining 5 carbons are present right so here only 5 carbons will be presented over here first carbon second carbon third fourth and fifth carbon so now as it is called as a fifth carbon uh, sorry 5 carbon compound you are going to name it as a aldopentose so why it is named as aldopentose because pentose in the name itself indicates it is a 5 carbon compound aldo is nothing but the aldehyde will be aldehyde group will be present in the first carbon hence the structure will be resembled which is called as a arabinose hence you are going to call this as a aldopentose so now here finally we have formed here the conversion has been done right the aldohexose has been converted to aldopentose
So this is the process which is present behind this interconversion of D glucose to D arabinose by rough degradation. So if you like my explanation, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. And if you have any doubts regarding this topic, please comment in the comment box. We are going to clarify your doubts immediately. Thank you.